terrific. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Thanks, Roxanne and Margo, for uh, helping me out with Q&A. Welcome back to another Shopware Power Session. We're going to do 30 minutes, uh, get you exposure to the new uh, Scantle integration that we're promoting uh, this month. Really excited about our partnership with Bosch, as always, but also very excited about this tool. This is uh, Shopware's first diagnostic integration. We're excited to show it off. Um, a bit about this tool. So um, I'm going to give you a tour of the tool. Most people are very familiar with scan tools, so this is not going to be a scan tool class. Uh, we're going to get into the down and dirty of how you set this thing up with Shopware, uh, how you run a pre and post scan, and then what the result is, how that stuff posts to Shopware. Bosch is running a promotion right now. If you are live on our master plan, by the end of June, you're going to get one of these puppies for free. Uh, if you have further questions, please reach out to your sales rep. If you don't have a sales rep, go to GetShopware.com and fill out a demo form, and you're going to have one in about five minutes. So really excited to answer your questions. Obviously, you can post stuff in Q&A, and uh, this will be recorded. Furthermore, there will be some instructions on this, so you're not going to have to memorize this. Uh, I will be publishing those end of the day, and I wanted to just combine this webinar with that uh, information, so you'll see all that come together, and we'll follow up with all of the participants here with that link so you can refer to this in perpetuity. So first and foremost, the ADS 625. So um, this is the tool here. This is running on an Android platform. It's a handheld tablet style of tool. Um, it does need to be connected to your Wi-Fi in order for the uh, wireless upload of pre and post scans to work. So you're going to want to pair this with whatever your Wi-Fi is in your shop. And then um, I'll take you through what the keystrokes are. There's a lot of really exciting stuff on this tool. They've sped this tool up a lot. Uh, they've expanded the European coverage in particular. Imagine that. It's a Bosch tool. Uh, and they also have some service information, wiring diagrams, other stuff plugged in here. So um, tons more information from your uh, Bosch uh, service representative and or the technical support over at the ADS team. And I have a link here of how to get in touch with those. It's Bosch-ADS.com slash ADS625-shopware. I'll probably take this, this slide off so you can see my screen or my video a little bit better here in a second. That's how you're going to get more information about this tool is directly from Bosch. Um, you can certainly call Shopware and ask about how to fix cars. We do have some, some intelligent people who used to fix cars on our staff, but they're experts on Shopware. Uh, so this is the, the mothership. And then alongside of this, you've got your typical uh, VCI. So it's your typical dongle. Here, I'll show this up close. So it's just your typical dongle that's plugging into the car, into the DLC, and it will show you power. It will show you whether you're connected to the um, unit, and then it will tell you whether you're connected to the vehicle. Uh, it also shows you the uh, resting voltage for the 12 volt battery, which is really handy. And this is completely wireless. You can, it does come with a cord to hook this to the tool if you need to update the firmware, um, but it should be just plug and play, good to go. Uh, so I'm going to set that down here. <laughs> And then in terms of running the actual scan, so let me kill my, uh, let me escape out of my presentation here. Or I mean, stop sharing our screen. Okay, can you see my video all right? A little better? They're picking up the recycling, they're fixing cars, so it's uh, real world here. Uh, if uh, Roxanne and Marty, you can't hear me and I need to speak up or move into a quieter area, just let me know. So um, how this tool works. So when this cool tool is connected to the VCI, it will show you that it's connected down here with this little green icon. And, and then you're going to want to go ahead and, and select your vehicle. Um, there are two prerequisites for this thing to hook into Shopware. The first is that you're working on a newer vehicle that will auto ID the vehicle by VIN, and then you have to have an in progress work order that has that VIN entered on the ticket. It's very easy for these tools to create a lot of noise, right? There's a lot of action that's going on in the tool all day long. You don't want that perpetually broadcasting to some RO or the wrong RO or whatever and have a lot of cleanup to do. So Shopper has been very careful to make sure this thing works discreetly as you would like it to. Um, and so that's uh, how it's guaranteed to go to the right place. You're going to auto ID the vehicle by VIN here, and then you're going to have a decoded VIN on the ticket. So I'll show you how I auto ID the vehicle through the use of the tool. 
Um, and then I'll show you an RO that I have just going on the side that this is going to post to. Hey, Carolyn. So, you know, one of the things that I, I failed to mention in terms of like, how does this magic work? Uh, on the back of this tool is the serial number. So when you go to configure this tool with Shopware, you're going to go to that same page that I pointed out, which I'll show you again, Bosch ADS uh, slash Shopware. And in that form, you are going to submit your serial number. So on the back of this tool, you have a serial number. Uh, that's the number that you're going to enter into your uh, form. And that form gets uh, sent along to both the Bosch team and the Shopware team. Shopware then enters that serial number into your shop. So even if you are a multi-shop operator, this tool is not going to talk to every single shop in your account. It's just going to talk to the cars that are in that one location. Uh, so we, we marry that number, that serial number to your shop, and then that combined with the auto ID, combined with the work order in that shop with the VIN is how this uh, magic triangle takes place. So one more note about the serial number. Good news is you only have to do that once. You tell us what your serial number is, we enter it, and then you should be good to go. Um, okay, so how to, how to set up the tool. Um, you're going to click Select Vehicle, and here's where you have a couple of different choices. You're going to want to pick Auto ID. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to ask me what car I'm working on. Uh, in this case, I've got two different trim levels for this Prius. I'm going to go ahead and click Base. And then I have some choices. <clears throat> so what this tool is doing right now is pre and post scan. Folks who are used to doing pre and post scans, you know what I'm talking about. It's not doing incremental data stream pushes. It's not doing individual ECUs. It's just doing pre and post scans right now. Uh, if you have other stuff you want it to do, please let us know what you'd like it to do, and we look forward to building that for you. Uh, so right now what you're going to want to do is read DTCs. This is going to bring up all the ECUs, and then you're going to click Select All. So this is going to be a health check. And then you're going to click Continue. All right, so now this thing is running. Again, uh, Bosch has done a lot of work to speed this tool up. So um, it will take probably about five minutes for it to run the scan through all of the computers. Obviously, the number of computers indicates how long it's going to take. Uh, I would say that this amount of time is probably about equivalent to what we're uh, used to with like a factory tool with like TechStream. So it, it really is a, not an additional time suck to have to use this tool. And then obviously it's getting that information on VRO without any extra effort at all. Uh, so how this works is it's just moving across this bar. And I'll set this aside while I'm working. And then over here, I have an RO going. So I'll move this so you can see a little better. So this is in my shop. And on this ticket, we have a 2007 Prius with the same VIN that I just auto ID'd off that vehicle. Um, if you have a estimate, it's not going to work. Um, the idea is that this car needs to be in progress in your shop. It also means that typically you're only going to have one work order going at a time where you might have some older estimates or some quotes that you're working on for future visits, and you don't want this scan data posting to all those different ROs. If you do have two work orders going at the same time for the same vehicle, this scan will appear on both vehicles, or on both ROs, excuse me. Uh, so we've got the VIN going here, and we've got the scan running. And then once this thing completes, this uh, scan is going to show up on this note feed. Let me bring this over while we're running this. Ooh, we got some batteries. Sure do. Yeah, come on in. Thanks. All right. So um, you'll get to see the format here in a minute. Uh, one of the things that we did in our previous webinar was talking about how to showcase value and obviously being able to put the scan tools results right in front of your customer uh, takes the pressure off you. Again, don't kill the messenger, but also gets to show the customer, you know, darn, there's awful lot of ECUs on this vehicle. And, Geez, there's a lot of DTCs. Okay, yeah, these are the DTCs that you need to focus on. Uh, obviously, you can do post scans to see the, the delta between before and after the visit. All that stuff is just priceless. Uh, you also get to see how this note is posting directly on the RO with decorated with like verified unique and the VIN number and the Bosch logo. Uh, so that also adds value to the customer. So I'm just going to wait for this thing to come across. Now, normally you'd be checking the oil, filling the tires, 
doing whatever else you need to be doing while this is running. Uh, and um, you can actually start to see the DTCs as they're generating as the scan is run. So I can expose this. I've got some LAN and combo meter codes, air conditioning. This computer, I'm sorry, this car has, I think, 17 ECUs. So we've just got two more to go. So when the scan completes, a few seconds after this last ECU is processed, you'll see down here a little bubble. And in that bubble, it's going to say, upload complete. And that's when you know that this is going to show up over on this RO. So since we're getting pretty close, I'm going to make sure that you can see that really well. It's going to show up right down here at the bottom. Yeah, kudos to the Bosch team. You guys have done a lot of work to improve the speed on this tool. I know it seems slow for folks that are, you know, sitting, sipping their coffee, but for folks in service, you know how uh, long it typically takes to run one of these. Okay, report successfully uploaded one. So this scan is done. Here we have the work order. Um, like all uh, notes on Shopware, they happen basically in real time. They post as they're published. So as soon as Shopware receives the data from the Bosch Cloud, we're going to present it here on this repair order. So you can see the uh, LAN and combination meter codes. There's also solar sensor codes. Uh, and a couple of those were uh, body and gateway had the same codes. And then you can see all the other ECUs that were scanned and had no issues. And then here at the bottom, you see, I'll put this a little bit closer for you. Sorry. It's, yeah, there's some, that's I'll, much better. I'll read it to you. It, it says, um, Bosch Automotive Diagnostics, ADS 625, uploaded at 10, 13, and 37 seconds, uh, PDT on today's date with the vehicle, then verified unique. So some other additional bennies here uh, to make it look more sophisticated to the customer and make them feel like it's their custom their custom scan and not somebody else's. Uh, so you can run this as many times as you want. Basically, if I ran another one of these, it would show up again. So you can do your pre-scan, you can do your post-scan. Uh, you can obviously add your own notes between those two. If you're pulling individual codes or you're doing data stream, if you want to print those to PDF and attach them to the ticket or snap some photos, you can obviously do different kinds of media. As mentioned right now, the only data that's going to be posting directly to the ticket is the pre and post scan, so the all ECU scan. Um, but you can have as many of these as you want. Uh, if you decide you don't like it, you can always delete it. There's a delete button uh, at the bottom. There is no way to edit it. So you cannot uh, tamper with the information that comes back from the scan tool, which is obviously beneficial. I will also show you what this looks like when it's printed to the customer. So you can see that view. So all of that is preserved in perpetuity. So warning light on, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's a little more consolidated. Oh, shoot, hold on, hold on. It's a little more consolidated on the printed view, so it's not taking up a lot of paper. Uh, if, in fact, you do decide to print it. But same stuff, uh, end of report, Bosch Automotive Diagnostics, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so 15 minutes, man. I'm diagnosing cars. I'm off to the next one. Like, we're kicking butt this morning. Uh, any questions or comments from, uh, from the uh, ENF gallery on this? Um, does this auto publish to the customer? So, Shopware uh, publishes to the customer by a share. So, you have to actually share the RO before they're going to have access to this. Um, if they've already got access to the repair order and they're perpetually refreshing the screen, uh, this will be presented here. So it, it does publish and you cannot unpublish it. Thank you. If, you. if you don't like it, you can just delete it and then, you know, the customer won't see it at all, but you can, you know, run another scan later. How to install. When you register the tool, uh, you're going to go to bosch-ads.com slash ads625-shopware. Pardon me, I misspoke earlier. This is the link that you want to go to. And I can actually uh, pull that up if you'd like to see what that looks like. So you're going to come to this page. This is when you get your beautiful ADS in 
the mail and you open it up, you pull it out, it's going to have a serial number on it. You're going to get this guy off the back and you're going to put that in this serial number field here. And someone from Shopware will receive the email and they will put that serial number into a setting in our administrative portal. So nothing that you have to do at all. And then we'll contact you and say, good to go. So there's no, nothing that you have to do on your side. Um, we've touched base with the Bosch team and they are, uh, they do not expect that you will need to do any downloads or any firmware changes in terms of the equipment that you're receiving that's either on the VCI or on the, you know, primary tool. So both of those tools should be, you know, turnkey. If you do have issues, they do have, you know, support numbers. So you can always contact their tech support. And then if you have, you know, your Bosch rep, you can reach out to them too. And they can troubleshoot any issues with the tool. Um, on the shopware side, Again, all you need to do is once we have that tool registered, you have to have an in-progress work order with that VIN for the vehicle decoded on it. And then you need to make sure that when you use this tool, you're selecting by the VIN and not manually keying it in. And that's how the, the link is made. So the, the packet of data comes to Shopware. It has a VIN in it from the Bosch tool. And we basically look for an in-progress work order that has that same VIN. And then we publish it to that, that RO, notes feed. So it's pretty simple and it's pretty magical when you see it working. It just pops up and you're off to the races, right? What other we, questions can I answer? We also want to know if um, this, if will it also save or show the freeze frame data from the event vault? That's a good question. So we're not, we're not gathering individualized details. We're only doing pre and post scans. Uh, that's a really great question. And I can certainly follow up with, uh, the Bosch diagnostic team about what additional packets they can start sending us. Okay, cool. And then um, also there's a question, are you planning on integrating with any other scan tools? Uh, we definitely are looking at some other scan tools. Uh, we don't have uh, dates uh, and I'm not going to name names right now, but uh, certainly, you know, we know what sort of the most popular ones are. Uh, we're also looking at the Robin Air tool, the connected Robin Air AC machine that Bosch has just released, and we'll probably have something for that coming up before the end of the year. So um, really looking forward to continuing to support uh, the Bosch suite of equipment for sure. That's it? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, we'll let you go fix cars. And uh, appreciate your time as always. We'll follow up with some uh, information on how this tool works and uh, good luck, good luck wrenching. Take care guys. Thank you.